I can't, I can't believe this was two years ago. I had barely anything done and I was so proud of it. And look where I am now. The game is way brighter with flight just about where I want it. You could punch enemies in the face, heroically catch civilians, go back to those enemies and stop them mercilessly. Carry injured civilians to safety, carry injured cars to safety, or just throw the car. Throw all the cars. Don't forget about that enemy. Handcuff them and take them off to jail. Also in the last couple years, I've been working on sick moves. Sick moves. I have a shoulder tackle and some air drop kicks. I have some area of effect attacks and some other ones I've just been toying with. I've also been digging deeper into esoteric spine 2D for animations. And look, flying is finally getting to where I want it. Sure, solo game dev is scary and sometimes I feel very alone. And there was that time that my cape was super busted and looked like the cloak from Doctor Strange. But I am slowly but surely moving forward and never stopped working. Did I bite off more than I can chew? Definitely. Eat it! Of course I did. But I have my Trello board and I'm slowly knocking things off the list. At the moment, I'm working on transferring my game over to Unreal 5. I'm not sure if there'll be a huge benefit to me graphically since my game is trying to mimic old 90s animation. But frankly, it's a new toy and I want the new toy. I'm also reworking my animation system and taking advantage of Paper ZD for my animations. They recently moved over to 2.0 and my original system was way too complicated. So I'm reworking some things specifically for the flight animations. And that's it in a nutshell. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when more videos come out. Seriously though, that cape was a big issue. Didn't want to work for a really long time. I might go into how I fix it in the future, but ugh, it was it was the biggest pain. You seriously have no idea.